Here are six vocational schools that you can apply to and study in Finland for free if you are living outside Finland or inside or inside Finland. This information is going to be beneficial for you. All right. Okay, guys, in case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Promise Breno and I'm changing lives. I have a lot of um, videos on my channel. I currently live in Poland. I've been to several countries around the world and I have the experience to help you to make an informed decision, you know, regarding the country to go to. People have um, gotten what they are looking for on my channel or people have gotten opportunities on my channel. And I can bet you that you subscribing to this channel and clicking on the notification bell is going to be of ultimate um, advantage to you because uh, you'll be notified whenever I drop content and you know you can be part of an amazing family when I post important updates you'll be you'll be the you'll be one of the first people to be notified all right so please uh smash the like button to support this video all right without wasting your time let's delve into this content proper now for those who are my ardent followers who don't miss my videos you might have seen this video about move how to move abroad faster you know where i talked about an alternative to poland and that alternative is Finland, right? I talked about the top secrets to help you to move abroad faster. And um, according to what somebody told me, that Finland are uh, offering visa, like, you know, compared to other European countries, that Finland are really offering visa. And, uh, you know, I know that some of you, after watching this video, will be like, okay, now what, how can I go to Finland? How can I move to Finland? Now, I've shared opportunities about uh, vocational schools in Finland on my channel already. And I think I made a content also regarding a scholarship, a certain scholarship in Finland. For those of you who are my ardent followers, you can bear me witness, right? And so today I'm going to talk about some of the vocational schools and also I'm going to um, let you know uh, what to do, like those that are for those who's inside Finland and for those outside Finland. So if you're already inside Finland, this opportunity is for you as well. If you're also outside Finland, keep watching because you're also going to benefit and you're going to find a way to move to Finland. All right. All right. So now let's talk about the first vocational school on my list is Vamia. Now I've talked about this Vamia college a couple of times. I've made videos about that. In fact, um, there have been people that, you know, in fact, I've gotten testimonies, you know, regarding people that have gotten this opportunity, courtesy of them. Um, I mean, courtesy of the information being seen from my channel, you know, so, and I've made video and um, like a couple of videos, like breaking it down on how you can apply and be successful. The things that you can do to give you an edge over other applicants or to make it to be outstanding in the application, you know? So of course you can see it on my channel, you know, I'm not gonna go um, detail in just for you to know that you can move to Finland through this opportunity, whether you're inside Finland or outside Finland, you can apply to this vocational school, Vamia, and you can move to this vocational school, all right? So let me just quickly show you the programs that they have, you know, and, you know, just give you a hint, just a little bit hint, then I'll go to the other ones. Now, they have cook program, which is in English. They have waiter, waitress program. They have machinist program. They have mechanic, mechanical fitter program. They have plater welder, for, uh, I mean, the plater welder program. They, they just concluded an application for this particular one, I think for waiter program, I believe or with a waitress program, uh, which I made a video on, all right? Um, the application is, is over, but I think the next application is going to open in January, if I'm not mistaken. But you just need to keep following this channel, you know, because hopefully, as as, as long as I remember, I will always make the video for Vamia. Hopefully, as long as I remember, okay? All right, so just keep following this channel so that you'll be updated on when the next application will start, all right? Okay, so, and how to apply, I've made a video on how to apply. Just go to my channel and, you know, uh, open here and you can just see um, the videos I've made about family. I'll just quickly, or just kindly go to YouTube, search button and just um, click and um, type Vamia uh, Vocational School by Promise Breno, all right? This is Promise Breno. And it will bring up all the videos I've made about Vamia, all right? All right, now let's move to the next vocational school, which is Riveria. Now, Riveria, I also made a video on Riveria. So uh, from what I understand, Riveria is mainly for those who are inside, inside Finland, all right? Just, okay, it's mainly for those who are inside Finland, all right? So um, excuse me if I'm wrong. Those, that is for those who are inside Finland already. But what I understand, it is for those who are inside Finland. But that, now, 
how does it relate to you now who is outside Finland? You know, like you want to, you see this opportunity now and you feel like you want to apply to all these vocational schools, but then you're outside Finland. Now, what I can say is that uh, I, will, I would like you to try Finland, um, to try Vamia, okay? But don't don't just put your, your basket. I mean, just don't, don't put all your hope in one basket. So what you can do is that you just, you need to have options, right? And if you are after applying for Vamia or if you apply, if you plan to apply to Vamia College, uh, what I can tell you to do is that uh, you can also plan to apply to one of the paid schools. You know, Finland, the universities are no longer free as it, it used to be because they abolished tuition fee in Finland. So um, I think some of the schools are 6,000 euros. You know, it depends on the program, actually. Maybe you might find a school of 4,000 euros. So if you can find a cheap school in Finland and just use it to move to Finland, since now um, I heard that they're offering visa, like compared to other European countries. So you use a school, a paying school, to move to Finland first. The one you get into Finland, then you cannot apply to these vocational schools, these particular ones that are not, um, that uh, that require somebody to be inside Finland. So I'm just giving you a hint on how you can do these things. Since they are mostly accepting those who are inside Finland, all right? So this Riveria is one that you should look at and we can just look at certain things. So basically the um, all these websites are in the description below. So which means that, let's say this is the video you're watching now, you just need to come here under the video and click on more. Then you're gonna see the link somewhere here. All the links, I'm gonna put them somewhere here, all right? Okay, that being said, let's let's get back to uh, this particular one, Riveria. So if you click the link and you open this website and it's still in, in Finnish, what you can do is that you can just uh, click on an empty space, that's left click on an empty space, then right click, and click on translate to English if you're using laptop. Then if you do that, you can see that you'll be able to see these things in English. So let's look at information for applicants. So if you go to applicants, um, you will see um, another thing again in Finnish. So you just need to come here above and click on English, right? So now it's English. So they have like more than 100 degrees available. So you need to find a suitable one. If you want to find a suitable one, you just need to come here and click on, you can find all degrees in the education search. Then if you come here, then you'll be able to see, you know, um, various, uh, you know, information, you know, regarding programs, agro-business, um, you know, different uh, programs that you can apply to. And you can keep going and keep going until you see what you're looking for, all right? Uh, artisan, craft design, you know, different programs you can see here. You understand what I'm, tra I'm trying to say? Yeah, so that is it about this one. And, and after you've seen it, you need to familiarize yourself with the application deadlines and you know the information you need to know in order to apply to this vocational school, to the right program at, in this vocational school, all right? So let's go to the next vocational school, which is Omnia, all right? So Omnia is a new one. I've not made this, um, I'm not, I've not made the content on Omnia before. So I heard it's, it's also, uh, at, uh, it's also a free vocational school in Finland, or I believe it is offering free vocational programs, okay, in Finland, and you can apply to it, you can check it out and apply, but I believe this one, you, you need to be in Finland in order to apply to this particular vocational school, all right? You need to be in Finland to apply to this one. So if you're already in Finland and you know you're paying school fees and the school fees is too high, you know, you're paying less than 6,000 euros, 8,000 euros per year, and you're, you've been looking for a way to, you know, to subsidize your education or to get a free education, you know, or if you're finding it difficult, then this is an option for you. Apply to this vocational school, all right, and you stand a chance to get it because you're, you're in Finland, you know, and they will look at your application because, you know, you're, you're already in Finland. Do you understand? So this is, this is it about this one. And um, now the next vocational school is the business college in Helsinki, all right? So this one too, I believe you need to be in Finland in order to apply to this particular vocational school as well, okay? Just like I've said, you can use the paid school to move to Finland and then apply to, to, to all of these vocational schools. So you can just plan to apply to all of them so that you can find free education. At the end of the day, the outcome or what you're looking for is free education, right? Sometimes you need to uh, pay your way to, towards free education. That's what I understand. Sometimes you need to do that, you know. For me, I remember <laughs> some time ago, you know, when I moved to Turkey, I was paying. But then I already planned. I already knew about the 
the, the Turkish government scholarship, which I can apply, you know, because there are two prominent Turkish government scholarships I know. One of them comes with like, it brings you directly from your country or from Africa, you know, or whatever, you know, but mostly it brings you directly from your country to Turkey. And you, I mean, it covers your tuition fee, it, it covers your accommodation fee, it, it, it pays you most monthly stipend, it covers your insurance, you know. So, you know, I wasn't privileged to get that one because that one, that time, my age was already at more like I was not uh, qualified based on my age and other factors, you know. So, and I saw that there was another one which is like support scholarship, which I, I can apply to. So what I did was that when I moved to Turkey, I was already planning that after my first year, after I've gotten two semester transcript and I'll, I'll apply to the Turkish government support scholarship. And that was what I did. And I did that and my plan worked out. And I got that support scholarship, which means I was getting monthly stipend, you know, monthly. The contract was like one year, excluding summer, you know, which really helped me during my studies in Turkey. And, you know, if I hadn't made this plan, I wouldn't have been where I am today. You don't understand what I mean? Or I wouldn't have been able to enjoy what I enjoyed, you know, during that time in Turkey, you know. So it really helped me. Those things really helped me, you know, during my stay in Turkey and all those stuff. So this is what I'm, I'm I'm telling you to do today. I'm asking you to do this because it can help you, you know, to um, kind of get to where you want to go. Sometimes before you to get to that dream that you're looking for, you need to pay the price. You need to pay some money, you know. So um, there's this famous quote that there's nothing free, even in free town, you know. So for you to get certain free privileges, you need to, you know, um, you need to commit something. And that's what I'm asking you to do, all right? So this is about the business college. If you want to find out more, you can check out um, different information, you know, about um, their programs, information for students, and see if there's any program that you, you're you looking for here. And, you know, and check out the deadline, check the calendar so that you know the next application period so that you can apply at the right time. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, so how to apply, all the informations are here, all right? and you can just check it out for yourself and apply, okay? Then the next uh, vocational school we're gonna be looking at is Kariria, okay? So Kariria is also a vocational school in Finland that I believe are offering free vocational programs. And, you know, just like just like the other ones, this one too, I believe that you need to be already in Finland to in order to apply to this program. And you should apply the principle I applied when going to Turkey, apply the same principle and the end goal you know, if you if you do it well, it will still end up in you studying for free. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So instead of coming to Poland, instead of because the problem of Poland now is the appointment um, is taking too much time, and also the visa is not uh, guaranteed. Like no visa is guaranteed, okay? But then uh, Polish visa now this high rate of rejection. Let me say the rate of somebody getting a Polish visa now is like um, let's say we have ten people who apply for a visa. Maybe only two we get it. Only two or three we get it. So this is how the rate is now. Do you understand? I'm just giving. I'm just saying it statistically. All right. So you know, I'm just saying it statistically. All right. And just like the other ones too, you can check out information about them and apply. All right. Then the next one, which is the last but not the least vocational school on my list, is Varia. Okay. Varia is also a vocational school in Finland, and uh, this one I believe you also need to be in Finland in order to apply to this vocational school. All right. Um, just like what I told you in the other ones, follow the principles and follow and do what I'm asking you to do. All right, very very important. Okay, so um, if I hadn't applied for that, uh, if I hadn't followed that principle to go to Turkey, or if I hadn't gotten that scholarship, maybe I wouldn't be here, or maybe you know it, it would have been different for me when I was studying in Turkey. But because I planned and I followed. You know, I already planned before I started the process. And hence, I knew that when I go to Turkey, that was, that was my target. So you can just start today, all right? Just like this video that, you know, it's kind of like preparation. You know, it's, it's like in, an, a motivation for you to plan so that you move abroad, you know, so that you can achieve that purpose. Sometimes it might not, it, it might not come the way you, 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 you think it will come. Sometimes opportunity might not present itself the way you feel it will come. Sometimes you, you would have to sacrifice certain things. You would have to pay certain things in order to, 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 move to, to move towards certain things. So when I went to Turkey, it wasn't just that scholarship I got. 
I didn't just get that um uh that particular government scholarship, Turkish government scholarship. I also got Erasmus scholarship. So I went to Erasmus. I attended. I I participated in Erasmus about um three times, and all those three times it was funded. I got money monthly monthly stipend. You know, so all these things were the things that I planned. I planned I was going to go for Erasmus. And hence, when I went to Turkey, it was not difficult for me to know what to do. It was not difficult for me to uh, go to the right source, to make the right information, to know when the, when the application is starting. So all these things I'm telling you for you to prepare that it is possible that you can move to Finland and study for free and through any of these vocational schools that I've mentioned, all right? The first one, you don't need you don't need to be in Finland to apply. You can apply over there wherever you are now, okay? But then the other ones, if you want to get the other ones, if you want to stand a higher chance, for me, apply to the one that you can apply outside your country and also plan towards applying to the other ones by using a paid school to move to Finland first, all right? Okay. All right, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please put in the comment section below and I would... um. All right. I mean, put in the comment section below. And if you um you want like a free consultation, like I mean, you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. All right. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, the link is here. You can just click on this link. I'm going to put it in the description as well. Then um after you've done the needful, take a screenshot and contact me via any of my social media handles, via Instagram, Facebook or email me, I prefer Instagram because it, it will be easier for me to reply you faster. Okay, then after you've done that, then I will reply you, then I would um, tell you my schedule and we're going to plan and I'm going to send you a link if we agree on a particular time, then we can we can meet one-on-one -on -one and I, would, I can tell you more tips or uh, kind of like um, tell you the things I need to tell you, tell a to your own need. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, okay? Then also, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And please smash the like button on this video. Okay, just need to come here and click on the like button to support this video, all right? All right, guys, feel, feel free to check out other, other content on my channel as well. I have a lot of content, believe me, that are inspiring, you know, a lot of them. And I drop content every week, okay? So ensure that you also check them out, all right? All right, thank you so much for watching. Till I come your way again, have a great time. See you in my next video.